Texas. KTLA 5's John Finolio has been following the latest developments and he joins us live in studio with more. John? We'll share, Micah, a stunning report in the Washington Post and a major turning point in the Russia investigation. The expanded probe, now reportedly focused on President Trump himself, comes after he fired then FBI director James Comey last month. The Justice Department special counsel, Robert Mueller, after meeting with the leaders of the Senate Intelligence Committee before the release of a bombshell report. The Washington Post citing five unidentified officials who say Mueller's investigation has expanded to determine whether President Trump attempted to obstruct justice. The paper says Mueller will soon interview three top intelligence officials, including the Director of National Intelligence Dan Coats, National Security Agency Chief Mike Rogers, and former NSA Deputy Director Richard Leggett. Shortly after Coates was confirmed for his position, he was in the White House, he had a conversation with the president, and the president said, can you do something uh, to get uh, FBI Director Comey to back off on the investigation of former National Security Director Flynn? Yeah. This is something also that Comey talked about in his testimony, that the president had expressed to him that he wanted him to back off that. The probe has focused on possible collusion between Trump associates, like fired National Security Advisor Michael Flynn and Russian officials. Former FBI Director James Comey testified last week that he'd assured Mr. Trump he was not personally under investigation. The president fired Comey on May 9th. Days later, Trump explained why in an interview with NBC News. When I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made up story. And that is reportedly why the probe shifted to Trump. A spokesman for the president's attorney, Mark Kasowitz, is not denying the Post's report, instead saying in a statement, the leak of information regarding the president is outrageous, inexcusable and illegal. Now, the Post is also reporting that the president called the same two intelligence head, Coates and Rogers, and asked them to publicly state there was no evidence of collusion between Trump associates and Russians during the election. They did not comply with Trump's request. The Post says former NSA Deputy Director Richard Leggett wrote an internal memo about the conversation, which is why Mueller may want to speak with him as part of the ongoing investigation. Micah, I'll send it to you. John, thank you.